Hi there, Ash here. I'm going to be doing another Black Desert Online cooking video about fish today, fried fish. These are good for imperial delivery, imperial cooking, which I'll also talk about. The fried fish recipe itself, very simple. You just need fish, some flour, and some oil, and it's a beginner level recipe so anyone can do it. The Apprentice Fried Fish Cooking Box is for Imperial Delivery, and that's actually obviously needing Apprentice level cooking. So if you're not quite there yet, you can check by pressing P and then under Profession Cooking there. If you don't have Apprentice, you should just keep doing beer or some of the bases, basics and you'll get lots of that. So for fried fish, obviously you need fish. You can gather fish anywhere there's water that you can uh, throw your fishing pole in. So I'm in Calfion, and even though it's in the middle of the city, you can actually fish in the river. You can go out and fish in the seas, or you can even invest in some fishing nodes on islands, and your workers can catch fish for you. But here I am in Calfion. I have a couple different fishing rods. Uh, Balanos is what I normally do. It has higher dur durability than most. You can also buy fishing rods on the marketplace. Oops. Fishing rod. Lots of different kinds. You can get old fishing rod through a first quest of fishing or purchase it from NPCs. Basically you just equip the rod and press space to start fishing and then you can let it catch the fish on its own and it'll take about three minutes or you can play the mini game by pressing space once a fish is up press space once it's in the blue area and then do the button combination on your keyboard and unfortunately I just got some laundry <laughs> so instead let's try one more time there's different rods for different things Balanos is really good for AFK fishing. When you're um, away, you just let it go on its own. You can even throw away the useless items. But if you are starting to fish, a lot of the fish you catch, at least in Kelfion, are white level, which is fine for cooking. And if you check that though, they'll be thrown away in most cases. So I just usually leave it off. Fishing is a whole nother profession too, so as that increases, your chance of catching more fish increases. There's also fishing ability, which can be through guild buffs or clothing. Where is it? Oh, it's, I'm wearing it. There's clothing. And that fishing ability um, requires less time when you fish. So hopefully I'm going to get another fish here just so you can see. For fried fish, you'll need um, one fish or two dried. And you'll also need some deep fried oil and some flour. It's a really basic recipe. And it does pay off because you get quite a bit from the fishing boxes. There's my fish, press space, and unfortunately I'm bad. Anyways, thank goodness I've done this before. And here's my fish. As you can see, these other fish are dried actually. And I like to dry the fish because sometimes I don't have time to cook. And oftentimes I get more fish than just one. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna put on my crafting clothes and I'll press L to dry. And if it's raining, you won't be able to do this. I right click on the fish and I start. And most of the time you'll get a good amount of dried fish from the higher tiered and maybe two or three. I only got two from this guy. But since that arowana was a higher tier, I now can make two recipes worth of fried fish. If I do my notch jaw, I can do them all at one time. Notch jaw is a white kind of fish. Not green, 
not yellow, not blue. So those are the very basic. In the recipe, you'll need to use two of them. Salmon and things like eel. Those are higher quality, so you only need to use one. Alright, so I'm going to call that good. So your first step is to get some fish. If you're in a bind, you can also actually buy the fish on the marketplace. If you go over to materials and then seafood, lots of different fish are for sale. For fried fish, you can't use seafood itself, which is octopus, squid, um, things like that. You could buy these if you wanted. They're higher quality, but it's really not worth it in the long run. If you buy one of these, though, they're they're all high quality, pretty much. Anything over 2,000, usually, you can tell it's high quality. You only need to use one. All right. So I got my fish. I'm going to go to the chef, the tavern owner, NPC search for cooking. I'm going to go to him and buy some deep frying oil for fried fish. Okay, that's your second ingredient. And your third ingredient is some starch flour. So, in previous tutorials I've showed how you can invest in nodes for barley, wheat, corn, potato. You can go out and gather them right about here in Calfan is good for that. I've already got a bunch of, I think I have sweet potatoes, don't I? Yep, I had sweet potatoes. And what I did, I pressed L, and I grinded them into the flour. I've already done that. So once you have enough, you'll see the different kinds of flours. I have sweet potato, I have potato, I have barley. It does take some time to grind the flour, so that's a good thing if you have a little bit of AFK time. Go to a safe zone and grind some flour. You can buy it on the marketplace. Pretty expensive. Usually not much there. Teff, though, and Friki, you can't actually use, even though that is dough. But even if the flour is up there, you can't use because those are for special recipes. Usually, anything you get from your nodes will be in your storage keeper. I don't want to use my special or my high quality sweet potatoes to grind because that would be kind of a waste. They're better for things like beer, where you would have to use multiple. There's my sweet potato just to show you. If you have your craftsman clothes, that'll increase your processing XP. L's for processing, I grind my sweet potato. As you can tell sometimes, it takes some time. And you'll get varying amounts of sweet potato flour for me since I have a pretty high processing rank I'll get more than I probably bargained for. For the recipe you'll need three flours so that's actually the most of all the ingredients that you'll use. You can mix and match also. I can use up my one potato flour with the others that I have. So I'm gonna go into my house ready to cook. Here's my cooking utensil. Put on my clothes. And now for cooking, start with my fish. So I can use one, um, one high quality fish if I want, or two lower, like sorrel, two lower quality fish. I can also do just normal fish. So here's some white fish. I'll try that first. Days knockjaw. One of those. I need three flour. And I need two deep frying oils. And I'll cook that up. So there we go. Fried fish is a buff, actually, so that's why I have timers on here. And it's movement speed rank 1+, plus, but I wouldn't recommend actually using it. Instead, I'll show you in just a minute how to use that for Imperial Delivery. So I'm going to do some mass production here. I have lots of big eye. And that's a higher quality fish, so I only need one of those. 
Normally I would need two. I'll put three flowers and two oils. Continuous enter. And if I press F, I can do a lot of the fried fish. You also get your cooking leftovers that you can turn in. For example, dish with more ingredients, you can turn it into different places for beer itself. Strongly seasoned dish, good for milk. So that's another easy way to get lots of milk for other kinds of cooking. You also get, depending on your rank, your cooking rank, crispy fried fish. Fla fla fla. Lots of Fs. Crispy fried fish is easy thing just to use up if you need some health points. You can usually tell that I have lots of buffs, lots of kindness of food. It's good because if I press my P for my profile, <clears throat> under training is health. And as you eat your food, you gain health. And every time you go up a level, you'll get more HP and more uh, special points or WP, whatever you use for your skills for your class. And that helps out a lot, especially for a class like Musa. You need a lot of special power or WP, whatever you want to call it, for the skill points. Alrighty. So, the whole point of making fried fish, for me at least, is to go sell it in bulk with fried fish cooking boxes. A uh, fried fish cooking box requires 20 fried fish, and as you can tell, I have 55, so we're good. So I've made my fish, and that's a beginner level recipe, so anyone can make that. Now I'm gonna process it into a box. So I press the L, and it's Imperial Cuisine Packaging. It depends on your level of cooking what you can do. So since I have a high level, I can do all of them. But if you only have beginner level cooking, you won't be able to do this. This is Apprentice or, apprentice or Higher. So I right click on my fried fish, I press start. And now it's gonna package them 20 to a bundle and I can go sell them for a lot more than I would if I just put them on the marketplace. And you do have to have enough room in your weight. You can't sell these if you're overweight. Sometimes it does fail and it will say processing is not going as planned, so you'll have to wait till it finishes. There we go. Okay. So now, a different cities, mainly the capital cities, you'll have Imperial Crafting Delivery. And you can also go to Imperial Delivery there. Usually they're together. If I were to interact with this guy, you'll have a daily quantity you can sell depending on your contribution points. And then each channel has a max number of boxes for each different kind. I'm doing fried fish, first one, and it'll say remaining. This is per channel and it gets reset every so often. So if there's none left, you can try to channel swap and that should help you. But here I can sell all, I want to sell everything. So I go from 2,000 to 302,000. So I just got 150 for each box. And it's a really easy way to make lots of money. I'm go back to my storage. And do some currency exchange. And put it in the bank. You also get some shiny golden seals, which you can trade in for different items. Alrighty. Just gonna show you one more thing, because I forgot about that. So when I go cook again, if you want to just do dried fish of the lower kind, so this mackerel pike is lower, you will need to have two, and three flour still, two deep frying oil. You'll have to use two because it's a lower quality and you dried it. 
but I do recommend drying your fish because then they don't expire. If they expire, you won't be able to use them. If you want to try just one, you can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Do one of those, three of those, two of those. Cross your finger. If it doesn't work, it'll tell you. And it did. But it really is dependent on your level and it's luck. Finally, you can mix and match your flowers. So let's say I have, oh, let's try two of the lower level. I have one potato flower and I want to use it up, so I'm going to click one. Just do the math, I need two more flowers, so there's barley. And still two oils. Cook that. And that's me being kind of OCD, trying to get rid of things that I have in my inventory. And that's all there is to fried fish and fish boxes. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe to Twitch, to YouTube, and my Twitter.